Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, the other shoe has fallen in the Donald Sterling drama with the NBA. Right, Donald Sterling now contends that he didn't authorize his wife to sell the team to Steve Ballmer. Right, he contends that contrary to reports, he's mentally lucid, he's completely conscious, no grounds exist to remove him as the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, and now we find out that he has hired investigators to look into the backgrounds of the other owners. Right, let me just make one big point here. The NBA needs to settle his lawsuit. Apparently Sterling was particularly upset because the NBA was going to ban him for life. Even though Sterling is something like 80 years old, he feels his reputation is at stake. Right, keep in mind, this was a guy who was in line to receive an NAACP award shortly before private pillow talk led to a call by the commissioner for him to sell his interest in the team. Now let me make a couple of points here. As I've said earlier, as long as Donald Sterling owns the Clippers, I'm certainly not going to be watching Clipper games. Right? Just simply put. But... I've also made the point that I've read the NBA Constitution, I've read the bylaws, right? I'm an attorney here in California. I can tell you they're vague and ambiguous as to whether or not the league has the power to divest an owner based on private pillow talk to his mistress. Right now, as we're finding out, right, in a different sport, in football, the owner of the Indianapolis Colts, of course, recently had to cop a plea in a criminal matter. Right? As we're finding out, all of us, owners, players, fans like me, we all have secrets. We all have a need for privacy about some things. Right? Our public personas might not match who we are privately. Right? I believe that any investigation of fellow owners, right, particularly in a league where some high-level executives have been accused of things like sexual harassment, right? You may recall the case against Isaiah Thomas, right? In a league with that kind of thing going on, in a league where one of the owners, Mark Cuban, has acknowledged publicly that we all have racist thoughts from time to time. I don't believe the NBA can allow a lawsuit against the league that might result in videotape depositions that could well end up on YouTube and in the press, especially in this world of multimedia, Twitter, anonymous posting, right? iPhones, smartphones, Android phones, iPads, it would be an absolute disaster for the league. Keep in mind, too, that you've had some high-profile players, LeBron James, say, I'm not going to play in any game involving the Clippers as long as Donald Sterling is the owner of the team. Right? You've had the Clipper coach, Doc Rivers refused to answer questions about Donald Sterling. In fact, he's refused to even meet with Donald Sterling during the scandal. Right? Well, understand, apart from the players and the coaches, and keep in mind, if Sterling continues to own this team, both groups might not have an interest in participating in league events involving the Clippers. It's not just the players and the, you know, coaches you have to worry about. Advertiser, uh, excuse me, advertisers pulled advertising from the Clippers when this happened. Right? If 
videos leak of other owners, right? Admitting under oath to less than PC comments or less than PC activities, right? Or even just simple marital infidelity, which might be too explosive for many advertisers, right? You think eHarmony is going to advertise with a team where the owner admits to sleeping around? Right? If any of this happens, you could lose advertising dollars. You could lose, quite frankly, TV rights fees. The league's not worth as much if every bad secret is out in the open as it would be worth with at least the appearance of good behavior, right? Or at least behavior suitable to advertisers and the viewing public. And so given the ambiguity and vagueness of the NBA Constitution, and given the fact that in lawsuits, civil lawsuits, litigants have a right to discovery, in other words, Donald Sterling will have an opportunity to take depositions, to videotape those depositions. Donald Sterling would have the opportunity to serve interrogatories, to serve requests for admissions, right? To get discovery of the discussions that went into the wording that's used in the Constitution and bylaws. Right? Given all of that, I believe the league has to cut a deal with Donald Sterling. Right? Whether or not the league feels it would be vindicated and would win at trial, the league cannot allow this case to progress to trial because they would simply lose too much along the way in public relations. Right, so let me just say this. Donald Sterling, in my opinion, he's not a good person. Let's just be blunt. But he has some cards to play. And he's playing them. In my opinion, the league needs to settle this matter. It cannot allow this matter to drag on and drag down the league publicly while it's pending in the courts. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. And let me make another point, too. The league can't even vote, in my opinion, on ousting Donald Sterling because it needs to maintain the fiction or at least the appearance of not having formally ousted him right it needs to maintain the appearance that the process was ongoing no decisions to oust him were made right so any damages he has arising from his ouster right should be minimized because the league didn't actually oust him. So what you're going to have is a league postponing meetings on which it's supposed to discuss and vote on the Donald Sterling situation. Keep in mind, it's not in the league's best interest to have owners together and to then have other owners openly question whether or not the league has the authority to divest them of their ownership interests based on private pillow talk with a mistress. Let me also say, too, I know much has been made about Donald Sterling's mental health. Right? Well, understand, the league can't afford to then have Shelley Sterling, let's say, prevail in court with regard to the situation against Donald Sterling, in terms of whether or not he's healthy enough to continue to administer the family trust. Let's say Shelley Sterling prevails on that. Let's say Steve Ballmer then becomes the owner of the Clippers, but Donald Sterling continues with his lawsuit against the league, even though Shelley Sterling has 
a hold harmless on it, even if the league feels it's going to be financially indemnified by Shelley Sterling, it can't allow Discovery to go forward. It simply can't. Right? You don't want any owner there talking about things that might compromise the league's reputation. You just can't. So I think the league ultimately is going to have to settle with Donald Sterling. I'm guessing Donald Sterling is going to get some kind of statement released by the league that at no time did the league actually formally oust him as an owner of the Clippers and that he has decided to sell the team voluntarily. I wouldn't even be surprised if Donald Sterling doesn't retain the right to at least attend some Clipper games. Right? The league might even say, in a statement, that Donald Sterling is welcome to reapply for ownership for some other franchise sometime in the future. Right? I'll just say, messing with 80-year-old billionaires who feel that the reputation they've built up over their lives is being challenged unfairly and who have the financial resources to hire an aggressive team of lawyers to actually look into your background, your business practices, right? The history of a league. Every harassment lawsuit that has popped up that could cast the league in less than a positive light publicly, right? That's not the person you want to mess with, whether or not you agree with Sterling's past behavior, right? As I've said before, Mark Cuban has already said, hey, we all have racist thoughts from time to time. If there's a context in which all of us, I'm sure, expect confidentiality, it's when we're engaging in pillow talk. I thought the statements were terrible. I hope Donald Sterling sells the team. I just don't believe the league has the legal right to force him out. This could get interesting. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and at my law site, richarddwyer.com. Thanks for stopping by.